This video is sponsored by PageProof. Mike, show us your tip. Okay, so I dedicate this tip to Bart and Nigel because yesterday when I showed them both my original tip that I was planning to do here, they both laughed in my face and told me that it sucked. <laughs> um, so thank you, boys. You inspire me to be better. So I knew I, I had to kick it up a notch. I visualized success, so I drew this graphic. The trophy of all the past years, all the times that I've won three minute max, never mind that's not true. Um, <laughs> It's true in my mind, it's my journey, so, yeah. okay. <laughs> but I, I love this, but I, it's kind of boring. What I really want is I want Bart and Nigel there with me on my journey. I want their faces <laughs> on my trophy, congratulating me for all of my massive victories. Um, I could copy and paste their faces on there, but you know, I'm expecting to win so many times, that's really not gonna be efficient. So I need something automated. And since it's a bulleted list, I need to basically make Bart and Nigel into a font. Um, so, I went over to Adobe Illustrator, my, my good friend Adobe Illustrator, and there's a plugin for Illustrator called Font Self Maker that you can buy for 80 bucks, and you can turn any vector graphics into a font that you can use in InDesign. <laughs> Woo! So I brought in a bunch of pictures of speakers' faces, I um, vectorized them with the image trace thing, and then I assigned them to glyphs using the Font Self Maker. So I made Anne Marie A, Bart B, Chad C, D for David, E for Erica, and F for French, comma, Nigel. So <laughs> I can turn Nigel into a glyph by selecting the vectorized version of his headshot, type the F key, and create glyph. I voila, I, will, I can save the font, and I saved a copy of the font into my InDesign fonts folder. Um, so now what I can do is I can change my boring list paragraph style into something a little more interesting. We'll call this one a Bartlitted list. Bartlitted. <laughs> Ratlet did? Oh, God. There's not enough time to type here. Okay, so I'll go to bullets and numbering. I don't have Bart or Nigel as bullets yet, so I need to add them. I'll choose my speaker's font. And this is really tiny. Forgive me, I can't make this any bigger. So I'll just add Bart. I will add Nigel. So now they are bullets. I can select the Bart. I have a Bartlet uh, character style, which will make Bart's head bigger, as if we needed that. Um, <laughs> And we'll take them down a notch. We'll baseline shift them down a little bit. Okay. So now that we have that, we can change it to a Bartlitted list. And now we have Bart. All right, 27 seconds. Maybe I can make a Nigel list too. So we're going to take boring list, change the bullets and numbering, select Nigel. Okay. And did I do it? I did it. Oh, Nigel's small because I forgot to apply the character style. Oh, wow. Uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> But you get the idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.